Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, which means it's rewards day on FC25, and that means hopefully an opportunity to make some coins. Because we remember last week what Squad Battle Rewards did to the market, and we're hoping that that same thing happens this week with a few tweaks and changes, of course. We're going to talk a lot about the market today, how it's going to move, and how we can make some coins. And we also have to cover, of course, the leaked Road to the Knockouts SBC that has still not come yet. And since it didn't drop yesterday, I think there's a really good chance that it could drop today, along with maybe some more store packs, which EA added new ones in yesterday. That impacted the market. There's a lot to discuss, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's go to yesterday's Saturday content really quick to start off the video because we actually had some more player SBCs. It wasn't a crazy day yesterday, we'll be honest, but we did have a player SBC for Steven Bergheis and we had the Eredivisie squad foundation players dropped in objectives as well. Four star skills, three star weak foot, and he's pretty cheap to do, 22,000 coins. Not a bad card, but kind of similar to how a lot of these squad foundations are. Not insane. He's got great play styles for sure. For a right wing, center attacking mid combo position, he only has roll pluses at the right wing slot, but he's got all three, winger, wide playmaker, and inside forward as a uh, roll plus. So that's not bad. The players and objectives aren't terrible either. The center defensive mid looks decent, to be honest. If you're an Air Divisi fan, you're probably doing that objective and that SBC for the cheap price that it is. Now, I'm actually going to talk about the bronze and silver SBCs, guys, because these might be the biggest W of yesterday content the prime bronze players upgrade and the prime silver players update which is out for 27 days we can do it once a week it actually doesn't show the refresh timer on console at least for me i checked it just now on the web app and i think i'm not going to be able to do this again or we won't be able to for a whole nother week but it's a tradable pack that gives you you have to turn in three rares right so you turn in three rares for the bronze and three rares for the silver and you get six rares and six common back it is a definitely worth doing pack i mean it's super duper cheap it's really easy to do you're like nate why is this even worth talking about well especially after yesterday's evolution and some of the evos that we have being very popular right now bronze and silver cards are up in price and if you pack somebody good from one of those you have the opportunity to make some easy free coins or even just pack a, a card that could be good for an evo in the future that would be good to stock in your club. It's just a good opportunity to get some tradable silvers and bronzes and honestly make a couple thousand coins off of that if you pack a good one. So that SBC is going to be worth doing each and every week that it comes out since it's super easy to do. And also, if you're somebody who likes to trade with those silver and bronzes on a low budget, that means whenever that SBC refreshes, trading with those silvers and bronzes is going to be in incredible because you're going to have so many of these cards that people like to buy on bids you're gonna have so many more silvers and bronzes on open bid that you will be able to trade with and uh, watch on the market so that is one thing i wanted to shout because especially when it comes to evolutions bronze and silvers are some types of cards that move the most and that sbc is literally supplying them tradable on the market so that's one thing i wanted to bring up and now let's talk about the evolution that was dropped yesterday guys it was the glow up evo which i think is our first specific evo that only allows you to put silvers in it max 74 rated overall position right back seven play styles and the interesting thing about this evo is it gives some really big stat boost it's creating some really unique cards um, a lot of cards of course are going from silvers up to 84 rated but also when you put a bronze into it as well with this new upgrade system as you can see like i'll put in this right back here 63 rated the polish guy he goes up to an 84 rated as well fully evolved or an 83 so it's kind of crazy how this new evo system works in last year's game if you put in a lower rated player it would kind of cap your rating but now it's kind of like boosting that rating Basically, all the cards get boosted up to an 80-plus rating, depending on uh, if it's a silver or a bronze, which I think is a bit interesting. But it's creating some nice cards here. Plus 10 pace is the, like, I mean, more than plus 10 pace, I think. It was plus 10 pace in the first section, plus 10 in the second. And, like, you're at plus 20 pace here. You have a skill move upgrade. You've got whipped pass. You have jockey. It's really going to make a silver card pretty usable and there are a lot of silvers right now on the market that are selling at max price 5,000 coins extinct value because of this evo sure it's not creating like just super crazy cracked players but it's creating players that are usable and fun and honestly a good baseline if you're wanting to take a bronze or a silver card into an evolution and potentially continue to evolve them throughout the rest of the year just with one simple evo this archie gray looks pretty nice 
as a right back slash center defensive mid. El Abduwali, of course, uh, the guy with the glasses. There's a lot of people that are doing this Evo at the moment. He looks pretty sick. His card's like extinct on the market. There's a lot of hype for him. Um, so there's a lot of cool ones in here. And I'm definitely going to be doing this one. Just got to find the right player. That's somebody probably from Spurs or from USA for me to Evo up through that one. But again, the biggest thing I can tell you is check your club. Because yesterday, right when I saw that Evo drop, I looked in my club. Boom. I had a Buchanan who I sold instantly for 5.1K. I will say this, if you have invested in any of these silvers, and if you're trading with this, again, this is where a lot of people do get transfer banned. So be very, very careful about listing too many cards in a max value, max price range for an extinct card, because that brings the potential for market bans and coin wipes, which we do not want. But unfortunately, it is a real situation in this game. Now, a part of yesterday's content that really wasn't in the game that I want to discuss really quick is a situation with Cole Palmer. You may have saw my tweet yesterday or may have just saw that Cole Palmer scored four goals in one half of football, and he's definitely guaranteed to get a team of the week after that performance. This is his graph from yesterday. The bro absolutely exploded because of a four goal performance, especially being in such a short time frame. You know he's getting a team of the week. What has been very popular to invest in lately? Gold cards going out of packs for a team of the week. Think Luis Diaz, Florian Verts, Rafinha from this current team of the week that is in packs right now. Guys, this is an incredible trading opportunity every single weekend. And I wanted to point this out because we have more games today. Sometimes it works great. Sometimes it doesn't work great. Kalnate scored the first goal for Liverpool yesterday. I bought one at 16,000 coins. He spiked up. It doesn't even show here like on the graph because it happened so fast. He, he scored. He went from 16K straight up to 19 and then absolutely plummeted, of course, as he was one of the reasons that they conceded the goal. They didn't keep the clean sheet and then he got a yellow card. So obviously no team of the week for Konate, you would expect, and his price is down because of it. But with the Cole Palmer yesterday, you see that when a player is scoring a goal, maybe assist as well, a second goal, like something that kind of resembles a team of the week worthy performance, which is usually a goal and assist or more or two goals specifically, you can see their prices go crazy on the market. There was a couple cards yesterday. There were, I mean, Vlahovic, I think had a really good game for Juve. I don't know if his card moved at all. Doesn't look like it did a whole bunch. There's probably other examples, but I just wanted to point that out as we have more games happening today, just watch the market. But as you saw with that Cole Palmer example, he went from 5,000 coins all the way to 14K. The best time to sell an investment is when the player is spiking, when everybody's going and buying and investing in the card because they're seeing that he's having a great game and could be getting a team of the week card. It's always best and most efficient to sell in that first spike. And then after that, you can buy potentially again. If you want to invest in Cole Palmer, it's a tricky situation because he's going to be packed a lot from squad battle rewards today in those 85 plus packs. But he went all the way down back to 7.7K, which is kind of where he is right now. I would imagine Cole Palmer's in the low 7K range, maybe dips under seven just for a smidge today on Sunday. But he's probably going to start creeping back up as we head into the week because He's expected to go out of packs, and then we'll talk about that later on in the week when to sell. But if you're watching that Cole Palmer or watching any of the football games today, this is a prediction. This is not a you know actual stats for him for his Team of the Week card, but it's almost guaranteed that he's going to be in Team of the Week 3 after that game, right? That's kind of the, the way you can watch footy games during the weekend and also have some skin in the game investment-wise if you see a performance that is absolutely cooking. Of course, players from the bigger clubs, bigger leagues, work better for those types of investments so maybe watch for the spurs united game today and, and see what happens there maybe there'll be another type of situation that you could potentially profit on while you're watching the game also want to talk about the store packs which is going to lead us into the market conversation today once again because we had the 50k tradable packs guys they dropped them yesterday on this game on saturday these were the 50k packs that we were hoping and kind of expecting ea to drop on friday that they didn't and kind of made the market the kind of flat just not great type of market that it was or what we were expecting more so these packs were dropped yesterday and it did 100 percent impact prices now this is what happened yesterday after these 50k packs were put in the store we had a market drop off almost as big as we did on friday this is the friday market drop off from 90 points on the index all the way down to 83 yesterday market was at 91 points we're back at 83 before squad data rewards today. And largely that was impact due to the 50 K packs that EA dropped in the store and the panic and supply that ensued because of this. Now, when we get to squad battle rewards in this conversation, I want to have about the market today, a lot of prices on the top tier players 
are not super duper low. Ooh, 285 for Salah. That's a bit of an undercut. That's decently low. Yesterday's market was pretty good in the morning. There was a lot of cards that had some spikes and some rebounds and stuff went up. And then after that, you had some stuff kind of come back down. But a lot of the middle of the top tier is still up. Like even uh, Teo Hernandez was over 400K. Puteas is up big. You have some of cards like that. But you also have some of the cards that are just kind of in the same range. Like Neymar. He's still 133,000 coins. He might have dropped off. Yeah, he was 145 yesterday. And he's down. This today with Squad Bad Rewards is going to create... A incredible buying opportunity for us as investors because what it really is going to do is get a lot of people to spend coins on their team after they get rewards today and i gotta play some more squad battles before the competition ends because your boy is in silver three and i don't want silver three rewards i would like gold rewards but what we learned remember last week we were saying respect the squad battle rewards because these 85 plus player packs kind of were cracked and the 75 times tens as well it's going to bring a lot of tradable supply to the market so it's going to be a really great time to trade because there's going to be supply hitting the market but there's also so many people that are wanting to buy guys like there's going to be supply today from these packs um right now a lot of people let's let's see 30 percent of players are in gold two 20 percent are in gold one and 83 times two mega packs all the packs and squad that rewards are tradable you don't get as many coins as rivals but you get a lot of good packs it still is going to make that top tier echelon of the market start to go up. And that's where I think we want to invest in today is the mid to top tier, those rare golds. And of course, the out of packs players like Team of the Weeks, maybe a guy like Jude Bellingham. I think today's the day where you should start to see this card continue to rise in price. He was low again yesterday. He was like 360K. This was another great buying opportunity. This hopefully is a day where a guy like Jude Bellingham, who people have been wanting to buy, but now may be able to after they get their squad battle rewards, open some packs, get some coins, and can afford a card like this. That's when you could see the price on a card like that go up. So there's going to be a lot of demand today too, guys, as people are starting to build and buy out teams because think about what is coming this week. Now the full community is on the game. Standard edition has been released. Everything's out for FC25. Everybody's on the game. You've got rivals gameplay that people are definitely going to be shooting for this week to get rewards. And you have upcoming this weekend, the first foot champs which i just qualified yesterday if you want to see me do it we did it on the second channel i'll link that right above it was an absolute blast and it was a little easier than i thought that it was but it's probably going to get more competitive as more people focus their efforts on this mode during this week and that just means people will want the best teams they can possibly have because we know that the foot champs rewards are absolutely bonkers this year and everybody is going to want to get them so i think guys once again i think the top tier of these gold cards will do the best because think about it again these are the types of cards that people want to have in their team that are the best versions to use in game that people can't really afford right now and they want to upgrade to a lot of people maybe sell a card like e-stock today to upgrade to a guy like griezmann you know Musiala. Of course, look at the out of packs cards like Verts, Rafinha, Luis Diaz. You want to keep an eye on those. Hyunmin Sun, his price is probably going to go up today, even though it's already up a lot. Those are the types of cards you want to look at. Um, these cards, I think, could be interesting to watch too. The road to the knockouts. I, I don't know if I would say invest in these straight away. I would imagine that some of these will drop with rewards. Like again, we're saying, uh, the way I expect it to go today is there's some supply at rewards and then it's going to go up. Last week, Last week on Sunday, we had a lot of price drops. Let's go, let's look at Neymar, for example, who's a player that I think should do pretty well today. Last Sunday, Neymar was 200K. During rewards, he went all the way to 182 and then flew straight back up to 200,000 coins before the content drop. I don't think the drop's gonna be as drastic this week because we know it's coming and the market's at a lot lower point. And I think people are gonna be more ready to buy today. Once we see even the slightest of price drops or even prices going down a little bit on the top tier players, the mid top tier, where a lot of people are looking to upgrade teams, people are gonna have coins ready to splash. And I think that's when we need to be ready to buy as well. I will not be awake for this. I've already picked up some cards that I think will go up. I picked up some Griezmanns. I picked up some Verts out of packs. Um, and I picked up one Araujo because he was 99K yesterday. And I can get him right now for 86. So I was like, man, that's too easy, I feel. So I went for kind of a mid-meta in terms of golds. Griezmann is one of the most popular cards in this game. He was 115 yesterday, 112. So getting him at 98 seems pretty good to me. 
And so I'm hoping that these cards can rise really, really nicely. Now, I do want to shout out cards that I think won't do very good. And if you're looking to buy cards that are lower rated, like we've been trading with Kingsley Coleman a lot, right? This is a card that I would not expect to do good today. He's going to get packed a lot. People are upgrading from this. Remember the trajectory from that middle to low tier, especially like the starter team cards that people put in their teams. Those cards are getting phased out by now. And then the another set of rewards we're having today is just going to mean people are getting more coins, more cards. It's going to make these types of players a little more obsolete. You can see, like, look at his graph. He's just literally been dropping. He's a starter card, to be honest. Even though he's got Rapid Plus, he's going to get packed today, and there's going to be less demand for him. I would expect his price to drop. Same thing with, like, Hakimi. I'll be careful with him. Yikerez is really cheap. Isak is another example I already mentioned earlier. Yeah, he's a great card, but a lot of people are probably moving on from him and moving on to bigger and better cards with higher stats. Maybe like a Griezmann, who's 100K, who's very hyped for the Finesse Plus, that sort of situation. So I would steer clear of the low rateds and focus more on the high tier. And if you're like, Nate, I'm still a little unsure about players I want to buy for my team, I would look for out-of-packs cards. Team of the Week 1s should hopefully start to rise better today. How is Trinity Rodman still 160? Like, that's crazy to me that she's still that low. Usman Dembele still looks low to me. Gabrielle still looks low at 41K. Hopefully, this is the time where you start to see some of these informs start to rise as well. Messi too. You'd hope to see that. Um, and then again, I want to touch on the road to the knockouts. I'm not going to be investing in any of these today, but I could see some big swings on these. Cherokee? Cherokee moves a lot. I traded with him on Friday. He's a good flip, and the, the Flare Plus is not great, but he has Trickster uh, and Technical. He's a, he's a very good card in game. I could see him maybe like going down to like 240, but then rebounding back up a bit as people want to try them. Same thing with DeMarco, Kuti Romero, very hyped. But for these cards, I don't think I want to invest in them just with the way the market is right now. I know they're live, they're upgrades. This is probably going to be a live promo team that I'm not super in, interested in investing in for a long-term hold, just with the state of the market where it is. I think these cards will actually be lower as they go out of packs, even though they're live, and that's really rare for live cards. But I just think with the way the setup is, I don't want to invest in these right now. I think we're going to wait on that, especially Team 2 of Road to Knockouts that's going to be coming. So if you want one for your team, watch the rewards dip today. But I would expect these to maybe go down a little bit and then go up after that. So that's kind of the market today. Should be good until the content drop. That's what I'm expecting. We should see prices that are rising up. The heroes and the icons, it should be a good market to trade in. Even if you don't get on for rewards right away and get into some investments, be on the market looking for undercuts, look for deals. Not necessarily even a card that is at a low price, but a card that you think hasn't gone up very much that could go up further uh, is a great opportunity and a, and a great way to look at the market today because a lot of prices have been starting to rise, right? We've seen that yesterday, the market starting to rise without the packs. Today could be a day where it really kind of starts to break up and out and you see a lot of those top tier, middle tier, just rare players in general go for even more coins. Now, I say the market should be good until content what could change the market after content today well something that might impact some of those left mids left wings a little bit on this market today would be if we get the asm spc guys yesterday on stream we were talking about alan st maximin remember the alan st maximin spc last year during black friday for the flashback version the low rated 86 card like if we got a similar card to that in this year's game like right now i know he's been herbace I know the Lynx art is great, but he's got technical plus. I know I talked about this SBC in yesterday's video, but genuinely, this SBC, whenever it drops, and I would expect it to be today. Since it wasn't yesterday, this is a weekend type of SBC. EA put the, puts the marquee players, the biggest player SBCs, are most often on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I think it's got to drop today. So I'm expecting this one today, and that's why I didn't try to buy any left mids specifically, and why I liked Griezmann a little bit more too, because Griezmann's a type of guy that maybe today goes from 100,000 coins and ends up going up to like 115 but then ends up maybe tomorrow going to like 120 maybe 125 because people need the french links to go buy asm so watch out for other french cards that could be something that you see today um, and if it's only asm and maybe the mini release of cards today coming for content these would be cards in packs uh isco bentaleb godfrey and lacelso are cards that were leaked to be a part of team one and since we didn't get the mini release yesterday we would expect that uh, to potentially be today as well i think that could be our content for today guys there could be some other stuff could have another evolution because on the weekends, again, they like to drop a lot of Evos as well. But I could see today's evolution being a cosmetic Evo, guys, to be honest. 
We haven't had a cosmetic Evo in a couple of days. They dropped this, of course, the last two days, the power surge and then the glow up. So it seems like we're due for one of those cosmetic Evos, which I think a lot of us just view as mid, at least right now. So I think today's content could be great if we have the ASM. I think that mini release could be interesting. The most interesting thing with the mini release would probably be what does EA do with store packs? But since they dropped the 50Ks yesterday and the timer that the 50K packs are on, still says one day 13 hours these are not going to refresh today unless ea just adds more in for those people who already opened them i don't know if ea is going to drop more packs they also dropped another one of the road to the knockout or maybe it was this one the 150k i think that one was new yesterday too these are not worth it guys in my opinion with the coins um it's a big risk none of these store packs are worth it at the moment it's really not smart to be spending your actual hard-earned coins on store packs at this time of the year not at all especially when coins are so king early on and they're so important so i wanted to mention that i'm not expecting ea to drop a whole lot more in the store today but we'll probably see as we normally do just a little bit of a dip at content in the market but i'm not expecting to see this i like this happened the last two days once we get the rewards today, people are going to get coins. It's going to elevate this market to a different level. And I feel very confident about that, especially after things last week. But again, just make sure you're on the right side of the coin with the higher tier, the meta cards that people want to use, the lower tier of stuff like we talked about, 82 rated um, stuff that was good in Evos that maybe a lot of people like Dalo have already evolved. You want to stay away from those. So just be careful in the market today, but it should be, fingers crossed, a really good day on the market. We've got a lot of demand. We do have a little bit of supply, but we have a lot of demand for people to be building up their team. So it's an exciting day. I've got my coins fully invested, and I think this is going to be the start of the rise that we should see into the next week on the market, guys. This isn't something where you have to sell by content today. I'm probably going to be selling um, as we get in towards content. But that's just because I will want coins to go and trade with, like I did with this Buffon yesterday. Uh, the Frimpong was not a coin production. That was a coin loss of 17,000 coins right there. But we made up for it with the Buffon sale and our uh, rewards, actually. I packed Neuer, who's 15K. So that kind of just obsoleted the, the, the loss there in Frimpong. I bought a Howard for 74K. My current investments are the ones you saw on my transfer list. If I can get another one of these for 74, I'll absolutely do it. So I have a Howard, I've got the Verts, the Griezmann, and an Araujo, and I have a couple of Patri Guijaros, who I think is hopefully going to go up to almost her max price today, because she is very meta, and a lot of people are interested in her card. Now, we'll end the video with one. I only did one 77 double, because it didn't have a lot in the club. Let's end it here, see if we get anything good. It's just a board, not a board, a tunnel, which that looks like Tadic. So nothing super crazy. I think he's 83. Is he 83? 82 and a villa. All right, that's the video for me today, guys. Have a great Sunday. Enjoy the games that are on today. Hopefully, there's some market movements with that. And hopefully, we walk into tomorrow with more coins and maybe some buys for our team. I know a lot of you guys are interested in buys for your team. And hopefully, we kind of helped you figure out a time to buy some of those players, depending on who you're looking for with this video today. So if you enjoyed this one, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow. It's been Nathan with Account. Catch you there. Peace out.